it's a beautiful Saturday morning and if you've been following my Let's Plant series then you would know what this day is about. This is part of my propagation series of videos and in this episode, I'm going to show you a succulent swap meet. If you're in Melbourne and you are on Facebook, then you might want to check out Succulent Swap Melbourne. This is the group I'm talking about. In this group, we do lots of swaps and occasionally we organize swap meets. So the way it works based on the rules that we set in our group is that in swap meets, you're expected to bring something to the swap. We normally expect plants, but if you're just starting up with your collection and you do not have any plans for swaps, then you could be creative, you could bring any other stuff, pretty much anything that you would think would give value. And if you've been with the group for a while, then you'll quickly realize that it's less about the plants and more about giving, you know? People in this group are more than happy to give whatever they have. It's finally the day of the swap meet and miraculously I was able to get a good night's sleep last night because I'm usually so excited for events like these. So over the course of the past week, I've been gathering my plants, preparing my plants for the swap. I did a massive trimming of my blue chopsticks, both the dwarf and the regular versions. So I decided to keep some of the blue chalk sticks cuttings for myself because I figured I should use them to fill up the gaps in my design and to reinforce the blank spots in my previous landscapes. I also grabbed some of the seed and gold mound in the front. I also picked some of the silver waves. I also took lots of cuttings of my orange pig face. And finally, some loose plants here and there. And that's just for the general swap. I also had a few pre-arranged one-on-one -on -one swaps. And for that, I prepared a pot of Sidum Aurora. These are the pale version with jelly beans. I also set aside a pot of Senecio Serpents. These are the dwarf blue chalk sticks. And finally, there's this one cutting of the Kalanchoe Tomentosa, the brown version, which we call the Chocolate Soldier. So I prepared those for my pre-arranged swaps. They are all packed and we're ready to go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Score! <laughs> Score! Seriously! <laughs> what are these? Uh, I'm, oh. I'm running out. Wash my hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
camera. <laughs> just got back home and here's everything that I took from the swap. Some of these are leftovers of the ones that I brought but there's not a lot of those left. So allow me to unload and place them on the floor so you'll have a better look. So the plants you see here, here and here, these are my leftovers and the plants inside this green tray are everything I took home from the swap. So I got this pot of Echeveria. As you can see from the flowers, this is definitely an Echeveria. And from what I can tell, it looks to me like this is a Papis Rose. It has three offsets and the head was chopped off. So it looks like this was an attempt at head propagation. This is a Cotyledon Macranta. I have a few small cuttings here placed in pots but I figured I could get one more. These are a couple of rooted uh, Kanachoe Marmorata. So as I said in the previous episode, I do not normally purchase these. So it was great to find them in the swap. This is an Echeveria setosa. I figured I could just use one more. This is a Sempervivum. I'm not exactly sure which species or variety this is. But again, this is not something that I would normally purchase. So it's nice to be able to grab it in a swap. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but yeah, it might be nice keeping this in a pot and letting it uh, flourish, you know. This is another, this is another Kalanchoe, Dos Peldiana. Uh, it appears that this one has either orange or yellow flowers. Definitely going to be nice filler. This is an Echeveria topsy-turvy, a really young plant. I figured, why not? Another Semper Vivum. This is uh, this is either a uh, Calcarium or a uh, Tectorum. I am not that familiar with Semper Vivum, so I'm not sure how to tell those two apart. Again, I'm glad I got this in a swap. This is an Aeonium, Aeonium Arboreum. I'm not exactly sure which type, but I'm leaning towards a Zwartkop hybrid. I had no real reason to pick it up. I just felt like it, so yeah, it ended up here. These are cuttings of the Crashula Capitella campfire and I figured I should get some because I want to make more of these. I have a few clumps in the front but it's just one clump so having more cuttings would move it along. So these are Graptosidum Francesco Baldi. I can never have enough of these. They make great fillers. I think this is what people call the spider plant or the air plant. I'm not sure. And finally what's left here are more Kalanchoe Blospeldiana. I'm looking forward to integrate them into my landscapes because they make such great filler and they have nice flowers. But wait, there's more. Let's have a look at this one. So these are a bunch of clothes and some knitted uh, headbands. How cute is that? <laughs> this would be for Nikki. A purple pink one. Yeah, another pink one. <laughs> 
And apart from that, lots of clothes for Nikki. Yeah, I think my wife would be so happy when she sees this. Because she's always looking out for clothes, you know? The other great thing about swap meets is that I get to see people in person, you know? I only get to interact with them over the internet. And I would only imagine their, their voices and how they look like. And going around the swap, it was so nice being able to chat with various people. Sharing your thoughts, sharing your experiences, and even stories that are not directly related to this hobby, you know? I've spoken to a few people who have driven for at least an hour just to get to this swap meet. They are from the other side of town. I also had a chat with people who didn't have plans to bring and instead they brought food, they brought baked goods, brownies, goodies. It was pretty good because the swap meet happened at 10 a.m. and by that time some, some of the kids were getting hungry. Oh, in case you were wondering about Zach, he was in the playground with the other children and he was having a really good time. Special thanks to my Patreon sponsors as Oscarino, Julie Seal, Snap, Kui, Gloria Nino, Tika Minnabas, Linda Leal, Gwen Ott, Jesse May, and everyone else who pledged on Patreon. Your support is a huge help. If you like this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're on YouTube. And if you're on Facebook, make sure to hit like and follow my page. That way, you won't miss out on future episodes of Let's Plant. And finally, you can check out my Instagram, that's at Siriska Page, and I post a photo of an Echeveria every single day under the hashtag Daily Echeveria. I would highly recommend that you attend SWAT meets, and in fact, I would urge you to create your own, to organize your own SWAT meets in your area. And when you do, please make sure to share photos or videos with me. I would really like to see them. With that said, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.